10 curious things you're probably too shy to Google. Slotted patches on some backpacks. Ever wonder about the diamond-shaped patch on your backpack? Well, it turns out it actually has a purpose. The patch, actually called a lash tab, isn't just a cool decoration. It's traditionally a way to hang extra gear on the backpacks. Who knew, right? Lash tabs once appeared only on backpacks created for adventures in the great outdoors, but in recent years, it's become a staple on a variety of backpack styles. Who invented the fire hydrant? The real inventor of fire hydrants is not known, since the patents that were related to the invention of the fire hydrant in Philadelphia were destroyed. The right way to peel a banana. Most people peel their bananas from the stem down, but the correct way to peel a banana is actually from the bottom up. In order to do it the right way, first turn your banana upside down. Now using your thumb and pointer finger, squeeze the nubby tip of the fruit. This should split the skin without creating any mess. Peel back the skin all the way around the banana, then take a second to admire how hassle-free that was. Now enjoy! Stem on a wine glass. The stem serves two distinct purposes. The first is to allow the drinker to hold the glass without touching the bowl, and the second is to reduce the risk of heating the wine from your body temperature. Holding the glass by the stem will keep the drinker's hands away from the rim of the glass, subsequently keeping it cooler for a longer period. The USB logo. The Universal Serial Bus is a technology that allows users to connect electronic devices to a computer. It's on laptops, phones, and almost on all kinds of electronic devices. While millions of people utilize the technology every day to transfer data between devices, they are unaware of the true meaning behind the famous logo. The logo was said to be modeled to mimic the trident of Neptune, the mighty Dryzek. Although the trident before may symbolize power and authority, the USB trident is more commonly attributed to the technological power one can get from attaching the USB to the computers and other devices. The central arrow represents serial data. The circle represents the voltage that USB works on, which is 5 volts, and the square represents the ground voltage. Why are sneakers called sneakers? Sneakers are called sneakers because their rubber soles do not make noise while walking. It's as simple as that. Why are airplane windows round? Have you ever gazed out the window when your plane is taking off and wondered why plane windows always have round edges? Well, there's a simple and very good reason for this. During the mid-20th century, airline companies began to fly at higher altitudes to save money, but for the passengers to survive at 30,000 feet, the cabin must be pressurized. To make that possible, the cabin was changed to a cylindrical shape to support the internal pressure. Pressure builds more around the corners of square windows, whereas round windows can withstand the pressure of cruising altitude, which is why the design was changed to round. Why are trailers called trailers if they're shown before a film begins? The short films came to be known as trailers because the projectionist originally tended to add them to the end of the reels. Thus, they trailed after the supporting movie, but came before the main feature. Trailers soon became big business, eventually moving to the familiar position we know today, before a movie begins. Little block of color near the sealed end of a tube. Have you ever noticed a tiny symbol on the sealed end of a tube that comes in green, blue, red, or black? While there are many people who believe that it's a secret code to let you know how toxic the ingredients are, the squares are actually just part of the manufacturing process and are called eye marks. The hidden information in these colored squares are read by light beam sensors and literally just tell the high-speed machinery where the packaging needs to be cut and folded. Who invented tea bags? It's no secret that the British are the greatest fans of tea in the world. Each year they drink 60 billion cups of this hot beverage. And while the British are responsible for the commercial distribution of tea around the world, the market was truly revolutionized by an accidental invention. In 1904, American entrepreneur Thomas Sullivan sent samples of different types of tea to his customers, putting just enough leaves in each tea bag to make one cup of tea. He believed that the samples would help his customers make purchasing decisions easier 
since they did not have to buy tea in huge quantities and were able to enjoy different types of tea. Some of Sullivan's clients interpreted his idea incorrectly, leading them to brew tea using these tea bags. And that turned out to be a good idea, revolutionizing the tea industry. Today, 96% of tea consumed in the UK is bagged. 